There That's we go. Awesome. I like it. All right. Yeah, All right, man. Have a good control patrol. Yeah. See you out there. Might as well see you out there. Seven, you supervisor? Always. Okay. I should be also. Yeah. Active 71. You know it. Go down this way. Yeah, lately I've been uh, trying to patrol a lot of the areas that no one patrols. Right. Oh, did you go east on 68? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm behind you. <laughs> uh, I'll just go down back here and check out the the back roads. No, I'm not doing it. Not blipping the siren because I see a cop car. Not doing it. Oh, is he doing it to you? Yep. Oh, well, that'll do it. <laughs> not a thing that doesn't happen. I'm not doing it. I'm not honking. I know you're a cop. I'm a cop. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not, not honking, doing I'm it. not doing I'm it. I'm not doing it. The day that I see two cop cars in real life honk at each other when they pass, that's when I'll do it in DOJ. But yep. I'll never see it. So it'll never happen. Uh-uh. I just... Imagine that. Imagine if you saw two cops and rah, rah, at each other. Like... It's amazing. <laughs> that'd be the most absurd shit. Oh, I got a call. Oh. You probably will, too. It's gonna be... Yep. Possible kidnapping. Nine one caller Joshua Road eight five seven. Damn, it's gonna be all the way back at eight five Shores. seven. Okay. Yeah, it's the stupid eight five. It's the one by the other one. Go for two seven. King eighty one. Go for King eight one. Three Charlie six eight. Three Charlie six eight. Ten four one King two seven one King eight one and three Charles six eight. If I could have you roll code two correction code three. 857 Joshua Road reports of a white van with a missing door occupied times one with one female in the back of the van. White van. I'm um, going to be last seen West Joshua Road south of 857 near a building with a silo. Again, it's going to be a white van with a missing door occupied times one, one female in the back of the van. One female. Two seven or not? 10 4 2 8 1, same traffic. Copy. Charles 6 8, same traffic. So this is 857 off of Marina, or is this... Yep. Oh, this is you in front of me. Oh. We're, we're code 3 response. Is it? I thought they said code he start, 2. He started with a 2, and then he jumped it up to 3. Oh, okay. Last seen the other way. Going uh, south on Joshua. Yeah, traffic's much better with the uh, population density Ooh. turned down. There's that Dukes. Yep. Yeah, 857's Marina down by Calafia. Right, okay. I'm going to reduce when we get closer. We're looking for a white van. I'm missing a door. Yep. Email in the back. King27, show me 23. I'll be looking. King81, yeah. same traffic. Why is he honking? <laughs> what is he <laughs> doing? Eight, uh, one King27, one King81, you just passed me. Uh, the van's in here. Oh, what? It's there? <laughs> Why is he um, honking like a madman? <laughs> Trying to get our attention, I yeah, guess. Everyone, Oh Obviously shit. Oh, shit. In the back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, What's going shit. on? Let me just zip this up. What the hell's going on here? Correction, brush 20. Hey. Oh, how's it going, guys? What's going on back here? What shit is this? Oh. Uh, nothing, man. This is just, uh, a hanging out. Nearly cracked. Hanging out, huh? Copy. Okay. This is squad 20. Static. All right. Well, why don't you come over here and come sir, come chat I'm with in, me? Uh, currently, brush twenty, heading back oh, to uh, oh, station two. Okay. I'll be there in I'll about be right back. one mic. Copy that, brush twenty. What in the fuck? You need to mark me twenty-three. There we go. All right, sir. Uh, the what? So what? Five. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? What's it? Go ahead. What? No what are you doing out here? Why are you? Why are you in the back of this? Uh, 
this facility. Uh, I'll find Joshua Road on that call. There's two uh, females. Oh, you're just hanging out, you know? Can't, you know, can't a gentleman just hang out with a couple ladies? Yeah, <laughs> you, you can, but what... a sketchy place to do it. Yeah. Well, I am a little sketchy, don't you think? You know? Yeah, I'd say you know. Okay. You know, kind of blending in to the environment. Right. Nothing, yeah. nothing's going on here, though. Everything's all good. Coke train. Okay, you don't mind if we check out this, this, what's, what, your, whatever you're doing over here, which looks very strange. You don't mind if we just check out and make sure everything is good, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Go ahead. Okay, you got a, you got an ID on you? Go ahead. Yeah. And... Coke train. Yeah, what's your name? I'm going to run the plate. Right, it's uh, Billy Ray uh, we got Valentine. For you. Billy Ray Valentine. Okay, and, and and that's your uh, that's your van. Right, registered insured. Yeah, not stolen. He does own Okay. It. All right, you don't have any weapons or anything on you, do you? Uh, Charlie King, uh, I have a knife, man. Okay. Uh, Is that it? No. Alpha India. No. Yeah. You don't mind if I just uh, check you real quick, make sure you don't have any uh, bombs, weapons, guns, yeah, you can bazooka, that, anything like that. All right. Oh, you'll get everything back at the end. Don't worry about it. All right, you can hang on to your phone wallet. I'm just going to take this knife. I'm going to put it on the hood of my my patrol car here. Yeah, who's the R on that? It's going to be Ray Valentine. Okay, Roger. So, how do you know these ladies? Friends of yours? Uh, yeah, just uh, some you know working uh, acquaintances. You could say. Oh, okay. What do you do? Uh, you know, I'm kind of in between jobs right now. Echo three from control. In <laughs> between jobs. Oh. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Return for your. Alrighty. Yeah, he was the one that was on the railroad. You know, I kind of do scrap metal here and there. You know, and they they help you with that scrap metal. No further. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're pretty strong looking, aren't they? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, he's, he's, the reason that we're here crackhead, but is uh, now, we so got we got some reports of uh, some some possible kidnapping going on. Do you know why we would get a report like whoa, that? Whoa, 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 no! Not here, man. Everybody Not here. here is consensual, you know. Okay. Consensual. Well, you gotta. Uh, I gotta be honest, this doesn't look great. <laughs> this looks very, very strange. It looks like you might be pimping these girls, yeah, honestly. I, I can understand that. But, uh, like I said, man, nothing's going on. Nothing out of the usual. Okay. Well, can you go ahead and hang out in front of this, uh, this patrol car over here? And, uh, we'll, we'll go talk to your, uh, your friends over there. Do you know the, what, what, what is oh, her name? Okay. I'm sorry, man. I you got a bad memory. I don't, I don't remember their, their names. Oh, okay. You've been friends with them for a while, though. Yeah, a couple weeks. Okay. Couple you know, weeks. here and there. You know. Bugs' car looks completely smashed in on my screen on the right. All right, we'll just go ahead and hang out right here. All right, we'll we'll let you know what's going on. I'll watch them for you, eighty-one. I appreciate it. You mean, ladies? Hey, doing, officer? How's it going tonight? Not too bad. You guys doing okay? No, we're doing just fine. How are you? I'm I'm doing okay. Um. Well, <laughs> I got to be honest. We got reports of uh, possible kidnapping going on here, and this van matches the description of the vehicle we're looking for. White van missing a door with a female in the back. Any? You guys have any? suspicion on why we would get that report oh kidnapping oh no no one was being kidnapped okay uh how do you know she this gentleman talk to people shut the fuck up bitch um, what was that excuse me uh i was just wondering how you know this gentleman back here oh he comes by all the time and um we just you know he's friendly comes by Come, what do you mean comes by Oh, you know, just to say hello. Uh, all right. 
You got you, you ladies have uh, identification on you. Oh shit! I left my purse in my car. Okay, looks like you left your pants in your car as well. <laughs> I just like I just wear short ones because it's it's warm out. Right. Right. Okay. In January <laughs> at night. All right. How about you, ma'am? You you have any ID on you? Um, no. There there's nowhere to put any ID. I'm sorry. All righty. You guys got names? First and last names at all? Uh, yeah. My name is Vivian Ward. Vivian Ward. Okay. What about you, ma'am? Um, Diana Robbins. Diana Robbins. Okay. Don't don't hit me for telling them that. Shut up, bitch. Okay. Well, uh, 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 27, you want to watch them? I'll run those names real quick. Okay. Yeah, go on ahead. Hey, cutie. Hey, how you doing? Do you have, uh, do you have any reason why we would be coming out here, checking out a van with two of you back here and you're behind Bravo. this building? This is, doesn't look, go. uh, doesn't look good at all from our end. Do you work with Mr. Valentine at all? 4007 Innocence. Prostitution. All set. 10497 Code 1. Okay. And what, uh, what's, what's your occupation? Where do you work at? Self employed? Okay. And, and you, ma'am, Ms. Robbins? Uh, she's my employer. Oh, she's your employer? Okay, how does that work? Carefully. Carefully. We just... Very carefully? We just, yeah, she's like my, like, assistant, and I just, like, she comes with me everywhere. Okay, and... and So this is just... Mr. Valentine is just a person that you just know mutually, and you're hanging out together in a van behind this building here that's private property. Yeah, yeah, we we just we're just cruising around and we just wanted to go hang out. Um, and uh, who were you? In some hey, reasonable Buck. suspicion. Yeah, I'll be coming rolling up on a good. scene like this. Who are you? Oh, we're twenty. Oh, code zero. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he goes zero. What and he has a twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> All I, right. I, think I I don't know if I did acid, but there is there two of them over there, there now. <laughs> oh. Uh. Well, no, not, the, not that I see. Oh, okay. I must be just seeing things. No, probably. All right. Well, um, hmm. Uh, you want to take uh, Vivian over there and somewhere and chat with her, just see what else is going yeah, on? Yeah, no problem. All right, Vivian, what was your last name again? Oh, it's Ward. Ward. Okay, Miss Ward, just follow me this way. Okay, sure. Let's go Better find. Say shit, bitch. Better not say shit, bitch. Here we go. Yeah. Dude, okay, so this is clearly some yeah, shady shit going on. We have reasonable yeah. suspicion on just Two the things. kidnapping alone to campus. get access. Uh, pretty much have probable cause, probable cause to uh, search that van and find yeah. out if there's anything in there. Uh, if we find money, we find drugs, you know, any of that. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and talk to her. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. thank you. All right, Diana. So, can, can you explain to me what's going on tonight? Um, I, I was told to get in a car. I got in a car. Okay. And do, are you friends with these people or work associates or why would you, why, I mean, what's, what, to try to help me understand what, what's happening here. Because from what it looks like to me, it doesn't look like your friend Vivian over there is uh, much of a friend and it doesn't seem like you're much of a friend with this, this fella back here. Um, I, I, I don't think I can talk to you. I, yeah. Okay. Well, I do, do. Would you like to go somewhere a little more concealed, and you can tell me what's going on? Um, I, I just do what I'm told. If I don't do what I'm told, I get hit. So I do what I'm told. Okay. Who's the one that hits you? Um, I'm, I'm not saying that. 
Okay. It's going to be on a silver cockpit. Well, you know, I'm, I'm here to keep, keep people uh, safe, and if you're not Avenue, in a safe position and you feel like your life is threatened at all, or you're doing something that you don't want to do and you're being forced to do it, I mean, now's the time to tell me. I can help you with that. I have college loans that I have to pay off, and, um, it's, yeah. Okay, did you willingly get into this van? I was told to get in the van, I got in the van. Did you want to get in the van? Want isn't really an option. Like, I need I need to pay off college loans, so want is not an option. It's you do what you have to do. Alright. Okay, so... If I can be honest, from what it looks like from my point of view, is it looks like the reports that we got are probably going to be true. Two Charlie 56, Charlie. What, kidnapping reports? I That's what it looks yeah, like to me. Something about kidnapping. That's what we got called out here for, and that's what it looks like to me. Your your friend Vivian over here is, is telling you to not say anything and to be quiet, and this Four, gentleman over zero, here doesn't even know your name. One, one. I, mean, I wouldn't say that yeah, she right. kidnapped me. I don't know about him, but I, mean, I know her. Yeah, I see that you two live together. Three, yeah. Five. Okay. Well, so how do you? How do both of you know this this gentleman? Then how would you guys meet up with him? I, I don't know. She told me to get in the van. I got in the van. So he just showed up, and she said get in the van, and you guys all got in the van. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, you know, I'm trying to help you, but I can't help you if you don't want to help yourself. I mean, now's the time to tell me. If you're in distress or you need help or you're they're making you do things you don't want to do, I can help you with that. That's why I'm here. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not in distress. I just, yeah, we're just here. It's just, just something to do, I guess. Okay, and what's the reasoning for you guys to be coming back to the back of this facility in the middle of the night? I don't know. I was just sitting in the van. I don't know. What were they? Did you, could you hear the conversation they were having? What were they saying? Nope. Couldn't hear him. Was just sitting in the van. Okay. Because when I rolled up, that gentleman was at the back of the van and he was moving around and you were in the van and, and your friend was standing next to it. it. It definitely seemed like something strange was going on. The officer, there's a point where you just tune the world out and just pretend like nothing's happening. Okay, I, I get what you're saying. You don't have any weapons or anything on you, do you? No, sir. Okay. Alright, well... Go ahead and hang out here for a second. We're gonna get this sorted. And uh, we'll let you know what's going on, okay? Okay, thank you. Alright, sir. What's your name again? It's uh, Billy Ray. Billy Ray, that's right. All right, so you wanna you wanna come clean to me and tell me what you guys are doing in the back of this facility? Cause you're not you're not just hanging out back here. Nobody pulls into the back of a facility in the middle of the night and just ha hangs out. You were standing by the back of the door. You're making a lot of movements when I when we rolled in. W what's going on? Uh, you know, I'm just uh All right, super, doing a little transaction. Okay, transaction of what? Back in from the neighbor. Uh, you know, some cover my car, right? and then it'll be returned to you. I'm sorry. What was that? You know, you know, they give me company. You know, I'm a, I'm a lonely man. You know. Give me company. Ah, here we I see. fucking go. So, are you saying that my suspicions are correct? You guys were doing. You guys were back here doing what I think you were doing. What it looked like you were doing when we rolled in. Well, I mean, now's the time to be honest, handy, man. man. So, uh, Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. That was that's what's, yeah, what's going on. You know, Miss Ward, 10, 4, 10, do me a favor 5. and just uh, come over on this side of the van. Break. Priority. Just right. face the van for me for a second. You're not under arrest right or anything. Here. We're just gonna be. I'm just gonna be detaining you at this time. Oh. Put me in cuts. Yes, ma'am. Right now, I'm, I'm uh, detaining you on suspicion of uh, prostitution at this time. Uh -uh. Not saying you're the one that's doing it. 
saying you're involved. Oh, these cuffs are tight. Oh, we'll get it in a second. All right, Mr. Robinson, I'm going to be detaining you as well. Okay. We'll explain to you what's happening. No way in hell I'm going to let All right, sir. So, uh, Billy Valentine squeal, and these two just If go you want to be honest and you want to go into detail, what? how much was this for? What's that? What was the How agreed much? upon price that you that you all agreed upon well, for this? We haven't really uh, got that far. Put me okay. in cuffs. And you picked them up yeah. where at? Uh, in front of the twenty four seven Sandy. Okay. And when you picked them up, this this lady in the pink there was she a willing participant to be picked up in the van, or did she appear to be resistant uh, of it? She kind of hesitated. She didn't really look like uh something she wanted to do okay but, uh, what about you know, what did her gotta friend do gotta do did her friend course her into getting into the van uh, i really don't know man okay <laughs> all right well go ahead and spin around for me real quick i'm just going to detain you um i mean you you were being honest with me you, you told me what was going on here so i'll try to help you out but as of right now you're going to be detained for the uh suspicion of prostitution or soliciting a prostitute Oh, is it, what do you mean? Is, is that illegal? Soliciting is yes. Yeah, that that is that is illegal. So as of right now, I'm just gonna put you in the back of my patrol vehicle real quick, okay? And we're gonna get this sorted, and I'll I'll come back to you and let you know what what the outcome is gonna be. All right? Okay. Uh, I'm just sorry, officer. I didn't know I could I couldn't do that. Hey, when you got a minute? Yep. You want to just talk in Discord? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So I talked to Miss Ward. She's mm -hmm. uh, she's jumping around. Uh, whenever right, they, we, they, uh, whenever they would, we separated them, they were talking a lot. She was like, "Don't say anything," you know, something like that. Right. Uh, and then That'd it sounds. So what did right, what did Miss Robin say? Because Miss Ward is saying that here. she's the employer of her. She's just a personal assistant. Right. Well, it doesn't make sense that she's back here, you know, with this van behind the building. It doesn't, doesn't right? Make sense at all. Yeah. Well, so. What, rent, running their names, they both live together. They live at the same address. Right. Uh, I but think the that Miss Ward is her pimp. I think so. Because and when I asked her that? what was going on, uh -huh. uh, she said that she has college debt that she has to pay. Uh -huh. And I asked her what she was doing back here. And she yes. said, well, you kind of just have All to right, shut it out and turn your, your brain off. Like and patrol car here. So it's, it's, comfortable. it's pretty clear that she didn't want to be in this van. Hello, and she didn't want to come here. Did you search the the Miss Robbins? Oh, have you not done that yet? I have not. Miss Robbins, no. Miss Ward, I got the knife off of Miss Ward, but I have not searched Miss Robbins. All right. I'll Make sure you didn't put it in the car before that. Um, yeah. So yeah, and right, so you got a confession out of Valentine saying it? that he was the one that uh, that picked him up, now? or he was yeah. paying for it. He, okay. Yeah. So he's soliciting. He's he's okay. trying to get the the females in his car. I don't believe he has anything to do with. I think Vivian is the one that forced her into right. the van. Uh, she's clearly she's clearly the, the pimp in this situation. Yeah. What I wanted to so did he say that there was an agreed upon price and all that? There they said they hadn't got to that point yet. Thank you, ma'am. But okay, that's I mean, why they were back here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean yeah. They, he didn't actually pay for it and it wasn't like a transaction. I would cut him loose and we've got to off the street, so Well, I don't think You're um Miss Robinson needs to go in because she's not a willing participant in this. She doesn't want to be here. Right. She made that. She made that pretty clear. I don't think she's actually done anything to warrant an arrest. I mean, she's out. I mean, did you? Get I think she's out Valentine here. About it. I asked him what, you know, what it seemed like, and when the, uh, he picked both of them up, and he said that the Miss Robinson is oh, was we're hesitant because he's over here standing next to us now. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so from, from what I heard was, uh, uh, Mr. Valentine said that Miss Robinson was hesitant to get into the van when he initially picked him right. up in front of the 24 seven. So, um, from what I can tell here, um, I don't think Miss Robinson is a willing participant in this. And since there wasn't really a agreed upon price that has been met yet, I don't think it wasn't a finished transaction. So, 
as of right now, from what I what I think we should do is I think I mean Miss Robinson clearly needs some help. She's in a position that she doesn't need to be in and can't get out of. It appears. Uh, Mr. Valentine is just out here, you know, trying to do whatever he wants to do out here. But I don't think it was since the transaction wasn't complete and there wasn't a price. I don't know if we can get him for, uh, you know, the, the, the prostitution, picking up prostitutes. But, um, Vivian, I think is, is kind of the mastermind over here and kind of holding control over, uh, Miss Robinson. Yeah, regardless of yeah. his uh, of whether he agreed upon a price, they they talked about the act in the whole thing. So we can definitely get him for that. Okay, I'd get them both personally. I'd get them both. What do you want to do with um? So what, uh, Mister Valentine and Miss Ward are going in. What about Miss Robinson? Yeah, I, I would. Me personally, I would do the other way. I I would uh, I would cut him loose and I would take them both in. But that's. That's me. Well, I just don't it seems know. Seems like uh, Miss Ward is kind of like she's the the pimp in this, and yeah, that, that's uh, what we're thinking. She's holding Miss Robinson. That's why I don't think we should charge Miss Robinson. I don't. She, from the little bit that I talked to her, she does not want to be here. It, it it's very yeah, apparent. Exactly. She could be just be saying that too. She yeah, she could be. But I mean, is it going to help giving yeah. her a charge? I mean, if she's stuck, you know, in this thing where she's in debt to people or whatever's going on here, then. I don't know. Yeah, you're called. When we rolled up, yeah, when we rolled up, there was nothing. She was literally just sitting in the van. It was Miss Ward and uh, Valentine over there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, did we search? You searched the van already? No. No, I know that. I was asking you. Yeah. No, not yet. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That should be one of the first things we went through. I'm gonna make sure there's dr there's drugs. If there's drugs in the damn van. We're taking yeah, him in on the on the possession of a controlled substance. Miss Robinson, a bit. Yeah. The problem is all three of these guys are. They should all go to jail, honestly. Then let's do it. Let's take them all to jail. Then I would. I would. In my opinion, I don't think Miss Robinson has anything to do. Like, doesn't even want to be follow. here. I know that, she but she could just be stuff, saying so. that. She, she could. Be, she I should, mean, she shouldn't be doing that. She shouldn't even be in this, involved in this. To me, well, I would do it just Well, the thing is, if she's being, if she, well, from what I heard, she was being forced in the van. She's being forced to be out here. Yeah. The, her and and Miss Ward live together. Right. So. Yeah. If you want to cut her loose, cut her loose. I. Your call. I'm. It's not my call. Yeah, I'm open to suggestion. No, it's not. Um, it's your episode. I'm letting you <laughs> choose what happens to them. I'm along I'll for rest the ride. them all then. Rest. Yeah, I mean, I'm making sure there's no drugs in the damn van. I'm sure there'll be drugs in the van. I thought that was searched before we even got here. No. It should have been. We had PC way before. Cocaine on the dashboard, steering wheel, pack condoms. There you go. He's got possession of a control substance. All three of them go to jail. Unless you want to cut Miss Robbins loose, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, all right. That's that. I don't know. I just, I, from what I, I mean, you chat with her. You chat to Miss Robbins. Robinson. Okay. And, yeah, and I mean, just see, can... just see what your feeling is about it. Okay. Because yeah. what I got from it was that she is an unwilling participant in this, that she's what being I'm... forced to do yeah. this. Unfortunately, with the voice proximity, I'm worried that Miss Ward's going to hear what she has to say, and it's going to scare her. Well, it, I mean, she's in the back of a patrol vehicle. She wouldn't be yeah, able to yeah, RP yeah. hearing that anyway. There we go. I'm going to get in my car. All right. Is it Miss uh, Robbins or Robinson? Uh, Robbins? No, Robbins. Okay, Miss Robbins. Um, what uh, we're trying to figure out here is your involvement with Miss Ward. Miss Ward is uh, is clearly... Uh, involved in a prostitution ring here, uh, and Mr. Valentine was soliciting you guys. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly was going on. I, I don't know. To I was to told yet. to get. I, I was told to get in the van. I got in the van. Um, if I don't do what I'm told, I tend to get hit, and I don't want to get hit today. Okay. 
So, uh, where, where do you where do you normally work at down there? In the, um, in the city? Usually we're in the city, yeah. Okay. And uh, did uh, Miss Ward threaten you with a knife or anything like that? I, I, I usually just get... It, it, it can be pretty physical, so I just... I do what I'm told. Okay. And how long have you been uh, involved with Miss uh, Ward? Um, like a month or two. Okay. And it's been it's been like this the entire time. Mm -hmm. She has a gun and handcuffs in her car. In her car, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Well, uh, we're gonna discuss uh, what's going on here. We'll let you know as soon as we make a decision. You want to roll that window down? Uh, okay, I can I can tell you where yeah. her car is. Okay, what's that? Where where is it at? Um, it's it's right across from the um. Sandy Shores 24-7. That's where we were. Okay. Then you said she has a gun in the, in that vehicle? Mm-hmm. It, it's a, um, gold car. Okay. All right, so you understand that, uh, based on what's going on right here, you you could go to jail for, uh, for prostitution easily. We're trying to work with you. We're trying to find out what's actually going on here, so that doesn't happen, Okay. Jesus. Okay. So here, here's the deal, Miss Robbins. As of right now, we can't help you unless you tell us what's going on. If you tell us that like you are being held against your will and you are forced to be doing things that you don't want to do, we can try to help you into mm -hmm. a better situation. But we can't help you unless you want to help yourself because telling us vague things about you know some of the things that she does isn't we can't do much about that we need to know are you being held against your will are you being are you free to leave at any point or does she stop you yeah what the fuck was that um well if i generally if i don't do what i'm told to do it ends in violence so i just i don't like to be on the other end of violence so okay so are they forcing you into into the acts of prostitution essentially um, I haven't ended up there yet. I'm just kind of here. I okay. follow because I'm told to follow. Well, you understand so follow. that if you're hanging around these these type of people. You will be in. You, you could get yourself involved in something like that, and you could go to jail just just, just for being here with Miss Ward because she made the she made the deal with Mr. Valentine, and you're involved. So whether you want to be here or not, you can be associated with it we're not here to take innocent people to jail or or to you know not help you but if you let us know exactly what has happened in the last couple months we could work with a witness pro uh, witness protection program because miss ward is going to jail and just a quick question if if you were here and you you chose to leave like you said i'm not doing this i'm leaving that's when violence would happen and she would stop you from leaving well, as a general rule it just like you're told to do something and you do it i mean you there's comes a point where you have to get out of bad situations and the other situation like i've got college debts and everything else I have to pay my parents back my parents are pretty pissed about college so which situation is worse like I honestly i would th this situation is much worse you know i there's there's plenty of ways to get out of out of debt, but to, to be out here doing this, I mean obviously I mean from from what it appears to me is you don't want to be out here, and if you don't want to be out here and she's forcing you out here, then that's not right, and you shouldn't get wrapped up with a prostitution charge if you're not willingly out here doing that. So if she's forcing you to stay here, willingly wants to be a prostitute. I don't think that's something that went through their head when they were kids. <laughs> so I want to be a prostitute. I would hope I would not. Agree. Well, that's that's all I need to hear then. So you want to let us know in so we can put this down in the report. What what is actually going on in the last two months? Is as many times as Miss Ward has threatened your life, made you feel like your life was threatened. Uh, made you commit any acts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Trying to get well, something out of her. Commit any acts, but I've had to go out on the street corners and and stand there and yeah, be she belittled by, 
I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, she needs to be yeah, let no, go. Like she, like she's never. Yeah, my life. I, I, she, she could and be she, lying. She's a good liar, been, but she she could easily be lying. Say something that I'm not supposed well, to let's say. ask Miss Ward straight up about it. All right. All right, Miss Robbins. I'll be right back with you. Yep. Miss Ward, can you hear me? Because these fuckers, are, somebody's lying here. Miss Ward, you awake yeah. back there? All right, so <laughs> you awake yeah, back yeah. there? <laughs> Here's the situation. From what it appears to me and my officers, it appears you are holding Miss Robbins against her will and forcing her to do things that she does not want to do. I wanted to come did, straight to you she, and did give that you. Did tell you that? Hang on. I wanted to come to you and give you the opportunity to, to, to be honest and straight with us. As of right now, I, I'll tell you, you are going to, you are going in for prostitution. I mean, that's clearly oh, yeah. what was going on here. So the thing that I'm trying to figure out is what exactly is going on with Miss Robbins? I see that you guys live together. She's telling me a story that is pretty much where you're the mastermind of what's going on here. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you. Sorry. So I'll tell you everything. Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm a hooker. Not going to lie. I didn't mean to fool you guys before, but I'm a hooker. And so she was hooking one day by herself out and down in Vinewood Boulevard. And I felt so bad for her. So I, I was like, you know what? I'll, I've been doing this for a while. I'll help you out. And I can't believe that bitch is saying that shit because I let her move in with me. I told her she can come work with me. She can go places with me. I can get her some money to get herself back on her feet and I can show her the ropes. And, you know, she wanted to, like, learn from a professional escort. I don't, I don't like to call myself a hooker. I like to call my, myself a professional escort. Okay. Has she ever mentioned to you in the past anything about uh, a college debt that she's trying to pay off? A college debt. I don't know. She comes from like a rich family. <laughs> I don't know what kind of debt she's got going on. I know she ran away from home because she's got like daddy issues or something. Crazy bitch. Crazy bitch. Okay. Have you ever assaulted Miss Robbins physically, emotionally? I mean, there was this one time when it was me, her, and another guy, and she asked to be slapped. But I would say that <laughs> that was consensual. But I did hit her a little hard and left a mark. Okay. Now, do you have a... I, I saw that you don't have a permit to own a firearm. Do you own a firearm? Bitch. Yeah. All right, Bitch. I'm not going to lie either. I do have a gun that I bought mm -hmm. because I've, I've been attacked before and I don't want to get attacked again, so I have it for protection. I do. Not gonna okay. Lie to you. All right. What about? Uh, do you own a pair of handcuffs? Pair of handcuffs. Yeah, I got furry ones too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're in my car. All right. You don't mind if we uh, search that vehicle, do you? I don't. It's over by. It's over by the twenty-four-seven near the hot dog stand. Okay. And what what kind of vehicle is it? It's a gold Lynx. Okay. Yeah, no one's under arrest yet. Everybody's being detained. We're questioning them. All right. Okay, we'll go ahead and stand by real quick. We're going to have a chat. She doesn't and, have to say uh, anything. She's we'll just try to figure out what's going on. I do, I do appreciate you talking with us and trying to help us figure out what's happening here. No, I appreciate you taking my side of the story because <laughs> if whatever that bitch is lying. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, we're, we're trying to figure that out, all right? So we'll let you know what's happening. All right. This is getting interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So, right, so she willfully gave us the same information that uh, Miss Robbins gave us. I mean, either one could, either party could be lying. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's tough to tell. I mean, it's... It's going to be up to the DA at the end of the day. I think so, because, I mean, honestly, it, you know, Miss Robbins could easily be a very good liar and could be trying to get yeah. out of this. Um, 
but then again, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it all, it's all just how you take it, and it's, it's kind of up in the air. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. I think at this point, it's probably best to get them for both. Hopefully, Miss Robbins will tell a detective or somebody at the police station if she is in danger, yeah. and she can get herself some help, because it's going to be nothing but, it, it's just, there's going to be revenge happening here if they're both let go. And out in the open, yeah. There, there's oh, yeah, no, no. I totally agree. I I would book book them both for prostitution. We'll get uh, Mr. Valentine for the possession of the cocaine. Yeah. Uh, in front, yeah. And other than that, maybe she will actually give us the the truth when when she gets down to the station. But she, they're either one's lying to not go to jail right now. Yeah, and I don't want to. I don't want to arrest someone and let someone go if they're just as guilty as the other yep. person. So, unfortunately, I mean, there's not yeah, absolutely there's there's not much we can really do. I mean, Miss Robbins is, I don't know, it, it, she could be a great liar or she could really be in some distress. But unless she straight up comes yep. out and says, you know, I'm being held against my will, I need help, I need to get away from the situation. There's nothing we can do, and she hasn't said that. She, she's been, you know, trying to skate around yeah that. I mean, based off the story it's borderline human trafficking that's what just I, i'd rather just be safer by putting them both uh both in the system uh i can go mirandize miss robbins if you want to take a ward yeah i can do that all righty i'll help you with the arrest report you want me to to uh, do the arrest report on ward or you want to both um yeah if you want to do the report on robbins miss robbins i'll do it on ward and then um uh, if you want that I, I can write up the uh, cocaine charges for uh valentine okay you want me to do both uh robbins and ward then yeah i'll work on uh billy ray okay but i'll, I'll, I'll mirandize uh robbins down okay so it's they're both going for uh prostitution yep do you know the title section for that yep i'll let you know Title three, All right, Ms. Robbins, three. you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you at the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, won't be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah. Okay. You're going to be going to jail today for prostitution. All right? Miss Ward's going as well. And then uh, Mr. Valentine's going in because we found some cocaine on him. Okay. Can you make sure that you don't put us in the same cells because I don't want to get beat tonight? Yes, we will. We will separate you. And uh, we'll deal with it once we get down there. All right, straight also, to the character. He left. Oh, he yeah. left. Yeah, he's oh, okay. Also, Miss Robbins, zero. I really hope that uh, when we get down to the station, there'll, there'll be detectives yeah, asking you about respond. this case. I really mm -hmm. hope you decide to open up to them and tell them the truth about what's going on because they can help you. They can help you get out of the situation that you that it appears that you're in. Either that, or you're one hell of a liar. Yep, I'm and I'll, I'll, the truth can get you killed. So that is true, and I I am inclined to believe you, but honestly, it's it's a it's a it's a sketchy slope here. So I hope you take my suggestion. Talk to the detectives at the station if you need help. They will and can help you. Okay. All right, Miss Ward. As of right now, you're going to be placed under arrest for prostitution. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. We cannot afford an attorney. One will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights that I've read? Yeah, I do, yes. Okay. Well, will I hang get a phone call? Yep, you'll get a I phone get call a phone once call. you get down there to the jail. Is. We're just going to fill out the reports and then we'll uh, transport you guys down there, all right? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna I go ahead. I think that's gonna be it. Get her down there. I'm gonna transport okay. her. Valentine's just gonna sit there forever, so that's all right. Whatever. Yep. King to seven count. I'm gonna get this. Guy. All right, I'll follow you to the station. Ten fifteen one time. All right, no worries. Yep, going to the station. Me personally, I love these kind of RP scenes. It's uh, yeah. something other than a vehicle pursuit and a shootout. Like, I'll take yeah. it any day. Well, it also took some investigation yeah, skills. Absolutely. Like, like I, think, I, I think that both of them are lying to prevent themselves from going to jail, but... 
been 41 tickets. Yeah, I mean, I've I've been bit in the ass by being uh, the nice guy okay. all the time with yeah. this kind of stuff, and I'm like, ah. I think honestly, I think there's it's a some I think there's some truth to what's going on, but I don't think everything. No, 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 no. Is is true? So, and I, she was. I mean, even if she was being forced into it, she was still doing, you know, prostitution back there. Oh, right. You get one. Go ahead. There it is. Status check in route to station for booking. Copy that. That's yeah, so, I mean, lunch. she... Yeah, she she could be being held against her will, but and honestly, like, control. she's not going to get help unless she helps herself, and she oh, absolutely. didn't yeah. appear that she wanted to help herself, so... Through my, uh, MDT, no. And, uh, can I get a he is indeed, yeah. All right, Miss Ward. You are going to be charged with... Title three, Section 3, Prostitution, which is a misdemeanor $2,000 fine. You're also going to be charged with Title 3, Section 4, which is pandering slash pimping, which is a felony $10,000 fine. Of course, you can always fight it in court if you choose to do so. Um, you know, you, like I said, you will get an attorney if you can't afford one. So go ahead and uh, just put your left thumbprint on this piece of paper right here. Oh, hold on. Let me get can somebody. Yeah, I, can, I can get it for you. Yep, I got it. All right, go ahead and give me your let. There you go. Okay. Thank you. So I can I can uh, get bailed out at Central Booking down there at the jail. Yep, if you can uh, if you can afford the funds to get bailed out, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. I know the perfect bail bondman for it. He owes me a favor. <laughs> Seven zero six seven. All right, she gone. Alrighty. Bye bye, Birdie. Thanks for the backup. No worries, sir. No problem. Just looking for your number. Any looking for your number. There it is. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, she was trying to talk to me while you were in there, and I was like, I'm not doing double oh, conversations. Yeah. Nope. Go ahead and have you 297 that way. Alright, maybe 10 8. Mm-hmm. Yep, that just all comes down to the DA, but it's just going to be what it was. They were both there. Yeah. They were both there. They were both doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And Yep. Clear investigating 24-7 on Harmony. All three went to jail. Engine 10. Copy, sir. Arrival. Engine 10. Go ahead and terminate. Davis Ave Command, you can clear units for blocking roads. It's all structured in. I have no idea what the hell went down in the city, but it sounded pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Really, dude? You're you going to burn your tires like that? Is that that cat? He did it in front of the me in the in the gas station. Okay. You want to get him? Might as well. Oh, now he's going really fast. I wanted to see if I can get him clocked. And let dispatch know that you are 97 with your location. Thank you. Control is clear. I'm with you. What a shitty pullover. Sir, please pull the vehicle up a little further. Further than that. Oh, we know who's getting a ticket. Do we have any detectives on scene of the this dude. At Davis and yep. Carson? Negative. Got a wise ass here. Smart ass. Mm-hmm. Of, uh, County Detective Monroe. One King to seven County. King to seven, go ahead. 1011 on a gray coquette. Eastbound Joshua, westbound Joshua Road. Going to be closest postal 818. Occupy one time. We've got 81 with me. Copy that, Sean. You and 81 out on a 1011 westbound Joshua Road with a gray coquette. Oh my God, this whole time I didn't have my load out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens oh. a lot. It's Nikki. You want, oh, it's fuck. You're still on that first scene investigation. A little bit of a, uh, a wise ass, aren't we? But you told me to go from one stream to another. There was, there was no extremes involved. It was please pull forward a little bit further because you slammed the brakes the moment I let you up. I mean, you got to understand just to pull over ever so slightly and give us room to get off the roadway. 
Anywho, Deputy Fabiano with the Blake County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is for a uh, little burnout you did back there coming around uh, Alhambra, making the right on Marina. Fishtailing your car around. I understand it's a coquette, but, uh, you know, you, you got to be a little bit more responsible about how, how you apply that power to the vehicle. Oh, I'm sorry about that, sweetheart. No problem. You have a uh, driver's license proof of insurance of the vehicle? Sure thing. It's Nick Bradley, but you can call me Nikki. All right, Nikki. All right, thank you very much. Just a tie for me, Sorry, okay? Sorry, I was I was distracted. I was watching my favorite YouTuber, uh, Barry a Bug, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, God damn it, Siv Ryan. Uh, sorry, I'm just a little distracted. Oh, you okay? Yeah, well, you you, you you shouldn't be watching things like that while you're driving a vehicle on the roadway, okay? Oh, I'm sorry about that, sweetheart. No problem. All right. Ooh, Nick, I ran the info. Nick Bradley. Leaves, I love to watch him walk yep. away. He's coming love back. To watch uh, walk away. There it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's coming back. Uh, vehicle's clear. He's clear. Valid. Okay. Everything's valid. I'm good. All right. Probably just going to give him a warning, honestly. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Text out officers in mirror. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nick Bradley, dude. <laughs> so glad I wore my gloves again mm -hmm. today. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. I'm going to call him Miss Bradley. Just to fuck with him. <laughs> oh, um, oh, shit. That was cop. Yeah. Yeah, there's cops right here, dude. Yeah, he he just overtook that car. All right, Miss Bradley, here's your information back. Uh, do me a favor and be careful how you uh, put that foot down on there and put the phone away, okay? All right, Officer Sweet Chiefs. Who's this fine officer to my right here? <laughs> hmm. Nope. Uh, that's uh, Deputy Bugs. Oh, my God. Oh, is that... King 81? Oh my god, I haven't seen you since a vanilla unicorn. <laughs> what are you doing, sweet thing? I'm doing alright. <laughs> How come you never called me? We're supposed to go on a date. God, nope. there no, we were not. I never agreed to that. Oh, come on. Officer to my left here, can I have his phone number, please? I don't have a phone number. Uh, it doesn't good. work that way. I don't have Ms. a phone. Bradley, you are free to go, okay? You can leave whenever I get back to my car. Alright. Drive Bye. safe. To the loop. Have a good one. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I should have given given him a fucking uh, ticket just for that ass hat oh, pullover, yeah. but I like fuck it. The one warning. Yep, yeah, one warning. That uh, orange juice Dukes just went by me doing 67. Yeah, I was looking for him for his overtake that he did on Joshua when we were on that traffic stop. Looked like he was going pretty fast. I didn't get a clock on him, though. Yeah, well, that was 67. But he's doing 17 over. And a 50. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a little quick. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stop him for 17 over. Standby. Control to any county unit not assigned to 24-7. Please key up. I'll let you take it. We got, I've got the radar clock. Yo, you got it locked. It was locked. At, yeah. He's 67. currently doing. We're gonna 50 have to miles have an hour. A marked unit. That's fine. I'll light him up. Uh, yep. Hey. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck, man? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Yeah. We need a marked unit out here with us. Man, they're gonna get spooked and they're gonna go. Man, we're gonna lose the sale. Five echo three. Tonight. Can I ten one with five echo three? If he's Stand available. Five, echo you want me to call it in? Yeah, yeah, you can call it in. Okay. We we'll need a marked unit and just King A one here. King A one, bro. I'll be on a uh, traffic stop on an orange Dukes westbound marina across a mountain view. I have King twenty seven with me. Can you roll a marked uh, Sandy Shores or Sheriff our way? Ten four control to any available sheriff unit. Three Charles ninety four. Three Charles ninety four. I have you ten ninety seven code two for a ten thirty two request. Wait, mark unit. Part you want to run this plate for me? Sure. Oh, man, what's moonshine? So damn long. Oh yeah, moonshine. That's moonshine. Mm hmm. All right, I'll approach. Ten four ninety seven. All right, no problem. Ten four twenty nine seven. 
I'm sure not stolen. Earl Wainwright. Oh my god. Name Earl. Hello, sir. Deputy Bugs with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you have a driver's license registration proof of insurance? Yeah, man. There you go. Earl Wainwright. Earl Wainwright. All right. Well, you're being stopped today yep. for your speed on Joshua. You were clocked doing 67 in a 50. And uh, when we were coming around Marina, oh, you were doing 50 miles an hour. Oh, sorry about that, man. You in, a, you in a rush to head somewhere? You late for an appointment or something? Yeah, man. We're <laughs> meeting up with my friend down here at the boathouse. Okay. All righty. Well, we're just going to go ahead and run this info. If everything's sorted and clear, we'll get you out of here as soon as we can. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, like he just told you, I was the uh, unit that was sitting back there, and I uh, clocked you doing 67 and a 50, so that's reason for the stop. Oh, alright. Didn't know it was going that fast. Yeah, he, no he, problem. He looks like you're, you, he looks slightly familiar. Do you know? Yeah. Are you some kind of like veteran cop or something? Cause I think I've seen you on like TV or some shit. You got, unless you just got a familiar face. Nope, that wouldn't be me. <laughs> All, All cops look Chris the Warren. same, man. Nah, but you, you, I don't know, whatever. So, alrighty. You want to write him a ticket? I mean, you clocked him. Yeah, I'll write the ticket up. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we could also get him for doing 50 miles an hour inside of Sandy, yeah. but it's I think bigger... the one for 17 over is going to get him. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. I swear to God, man, I, I'm not kidding, man. He looks really familiar. <laughs> oh, shit, here. All right, Mr. Wainwright. I'm giving you a citation hey. today for, uh, for the ah, speed. I have you right, uh, signed here at the bottom. There you go. It. Okay. All right, that's Title 8, Section 17 for speeding. That's 67 in a 50 mile an hour zone. Here's your copy, and we'll see you in 30 days. You're free to go as soon as we get back to our vehicle, okay? Try to keep right, it slow down. Yep, try my best. Try my best. There's the unit showing up on scene now. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Try Romeo 522. We're all clear here. We're just trying to get a marked unit down here. Mike still has it set up to back me. You can actually uh, cancel my Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah, you can't depress me. Huh? He's like, okay. <laughs> He's like, shit. Oh, uh, okay. Head, start heading to Joshua. Okay. I got a green motorcycle. High rate of speed going eastbound. Joshua just turned southbound on Nowhere Road. Very You're clear Still going east? Yeah, but no, he's going south nor nowhere. He's gonna come out on Catclaw. Oh, okay. I lost visual, but green motorcycle wearing all green. Just overtook me, ramped pretty much onto Joshua Road. Lost visual on him. Five echo three, I just cleared off, but I'm still in the area. I'm heading down that way. Okay. Maybe he went yeah. towards Coachella. I'm going to flip around and head towards Coachella. Yeah, I'm going to reduce. Oh, I got him. Southbound. And he's going off road eastbound towards back towards Coachella. Okay. I'll be out in 1050. There we go. I got him right here. You said additional 32s for traffic blockage. Ray Steven, showing you 7076. Yeah, south nowhere. He's pulling over for me. Okay. But we're south nowhere across smoke tree. Flicking me off. Naturally. King A1. I'm just code one. One King 81. Be advised I'm going to be on a traffic stop with a green Sanchez. Stand by. Get on your motorcycle. Get back on your motorcycle. Can I help back you? on your motorcycle. Can I help you? Get back on your motorcycle. Can I help you? Step away from me. Get back, back on your Get back on your motorcycle. What the What the hell? You interrupted my riding. What the hell? Get back on your motorcycle. Bullshit. All right. Be advised. Traffic stop. Green motorcycle. 
I'm on South Nowhere across the smoke tree. I have King 27 with me. Aye, aye, aye. I'll show you out. Not even worth yeah, he, getting a marked unit. <laughs> no. He he got off his bike and approached my window, so. Yeah, I saw that. What the hell does he think he's doing? Yeah. All right, I'm approaching him. Yep. He's, yeah, being strange. Okay, I'm going to have my taser ready to go just in case. What's your problem, man? Three Charlie, 280. What do you mean, what's my problem? I'm trying to ride here, ride you, and sent me off my bike. What the fuck? There it is. Okay, well, I don't remember any time I almost hit you off your bike. I remember yeah, when you passed me on yeah, Alhambra yeah, doing about yeah. double the speed limit and then right. crossing over, ramping onto yeah, Joshua. That's why I'm here to talk to you. Okay, well, that's that's fine. I have no problem with you out here riding a dirt bike and then enjoying, you know, the terrain out here. My issue is you crossing public roadways the way you did at the speeds that you were doing. You you cut between me and a car, you could have easily fallen off and got yourself seriously injured. You got a driver's license? Like I said, man. Like I said, no, like I said you shouldn't be in my way, man. Okay, well... I don't really see how that applies, but you, you, so you don't have a driver's license? No, no, I do, I do, I do. Okay, can I get that from you? I'm not going to ask for registration because I'm assuming that's not registered. Hell no, this thing ain't <laughs> registered, man. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, you got, so, yeah, yeah you got to... Yeah, yeah, it's Jamie Johnson, J-A-M-E-Y. Okay, Jamie Johnson. All right, Mr. Johnson. Killing my, Killin my vibe, bro. Yeah, well... You know, what you did was pretty damn reckless, and, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you had to have known I was coming to talk to you about it. Yo, 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 what the fuck that fool looking at? Yo, fuck you, fool. Uh, just relax, Mr. Johnson, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run your information, and if everything checks out, I'll get you out of here as soon as I can. Yeah, yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Yeah. That sounds like a lovely dude. <laughs> He's great. All right, Mr. Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write you a ticket for reckless driving. What you did was extremely dangerous, and I highly advise that you don't do that again. This is not a street legal vehicle, so I would recommend you keep it off the streets. Keep it on the dirt. I'm totally fine with you out here having fun, enjoying it, but if you're going to be driving the way you were and being as reckless as you are, then we're going to have some issues. We ain't gonna have any issues. You gonna have an issue. Here we go. All right. Well, I'll, I'm telling you right now. This is your. You, you are getting a citation, but this is your final warning. If I see this bike on the roadway, I'm taking it from you. Is that clear? Yeah. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whatever. We'll go ahead and sign right here. It's not a mission of guilt. Just saying you'll take care of this ticket before the date. There you go. Alrighty, be safe pulling off, and remember, keep that off the streets. Alright. Alright, have a good day, sir. Look at that shit. Right onto the street. Right <laughs> onto the street. And okay. now he's jumps again. <sighs> yep. He's fucking civs, man. Look at this shit. Guess whose turn it is to pull him over. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, just like that. <laughs> what well, we just tell you? Hell, I'm on my property now, fool. So you you weren't going. on your property back there. That's not your property, Smoke Tree Road and Cat Claw. That's not your property. Well, this is uh, this in the main road now, is it? This dirt road, huh? Yeah, that yeah, that is the main road back there. I should have been a. We just were you? just sitting there and watched you do a wheelie across Cat Claw and make that right turn, hit the jump, come back, and you cross Smoke Tree. Yeah, whatever. That's two major roads right there. Yeah, I whatever. mean, if you don't like that yeah, motorcycle, whatever. I know the sheriff's department would love it. If you want to get rid of it so bad, we'll take it from you. You ain't taking shit. 
What did I just tell you before you left? So I said you ain't taking shit. Yeah, what did I tell you? That you're gonna take it. That's right. If you go on a roadway again, and what did you do immediately after I told you not to go on a roadway? Where the hell else am I supposed to go? You are in the desert, sir. There is plenty of room and places for you to go. Are we gonna have a problem? I don't know. Why don't you get off my property? As of right now, we're uh, conducting an investigation. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, you want to write him a ticket for that, or? No, no, just want to piss him off. Okay. All right, Mr. Johnson. Look, I don't know why, but we're in a good mood. <laughs> but it's running thin. I'm telling you now. Yo, if you don't get a scar from my property, I'm about to kick it. You kick that car, you're going to jail. Yep, I can guarantee you. Oh, go Jesus. Oh. You Double done fucked up now. Double. To kick the car. Double got him. <laughs> Try to kick the car and punched you instead. Trying to damage police <laughs> property. Go ahead and get on the ground, sir. <laughs> we both had it. I was like, fuck this. I'm tasing the son of a bitch, too. Yeah. He tried to kick my car. <laughs> Fucker. Just had to be edgy, didn't you? Just had to be a maverick. Well, if cops weren't such assholes out here, I wouldn't have to be. Dude, we uh, we were gonna cut we're you. you out, dude. We were gonna cut you the we're biggest break. We were about to leave. We were gonna cut you a ma Not only were we gonna cut you a Have break, we were gonna we were gonna cut you a break for the second time. I only got you for reckless. I could have got you for a lot more, and I didn't. All right, go and stand up. Unbelievable. Go ahead and face my vehicle here. Lean up against a ram bar. You got anything on you that's going to poke, stick me, hurt me? Anything illegal? Anything you shouldn't have? Bombs? Bazookas? Hand grenades? No, I ain't got nothing on me. I got my gun on me. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Title 8, Section 2. Yeah, what is that? Uh, title 8, Section 2 is uh, vehicle registration. Uh, $194 fine and uh, motor vehicle that has not been registered may be impounded if driven mm. on a road. That's the there one. There we go. So we're going to get him for that and... Bye bye, bikey. Just going to get him for that? Just take his bike? Yeah. Well... Alright. Well... Unless you... Ask him if you want... I don't know if he wants to RP kicking the car or if he wants to kick, I, RP He definitely you. was trying to kick the car, so I'm just going right. to RP that he kicked the car. Okay. So we'll get him for yeah. uh, something about damage. Damage of uh All right, your your bike's going with us today, but uh you're gonna be going in for uh for kicking my car. Now we gotta pay to get that dent out of his oh, fender. Shit. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You have to pay to get that dent out of his fender. Yep. Aw, oh, fuck that. It's a Vic. It should be demolished anyways. Uh -huh. There it is. Is that commission? Yeah, I don't think so. Low ass pieces of shit cars. Well, I'm really glad <laughs> you decided to give this it looks Go ahead. Pretty good in blue, King but they guy. look like shit when they're all in, all black. I mean, it's yeah, well, for a Sanchez. We don't pick the colors. Gonna be at eight one seven. Uh, Cat claw. I'm really glad you decided to uh, give the give the Blaine County Sheriff's Office a nice new shiny Sanchez. Uh, and we'll make sure to use that. Don't think toes on. I don't think they are. All right, let's go ahead and get no. my vehicle. I couldn't hear him, sadly. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Go ahead and get him. What's he doing in. now? Kicks your headlight out. You you want to do any more charges? You you want to stack on anything else? Because I'll get you for two counts of damage to government property. Two counts. Okay, we'll see what my lawyer thinks of that. All right. Well, yeah, you go ahead and call him. Police brutality. The, bo the bozo, he didn't even bother, you know, hitting the back of our cars. The dash cam caught all of it. Had our lights police on. Bru police brutality. Yeah, okay. Police brutality. Go ahead and tell your tell lawyer that. Two. 
You want me to take care of their report? You want it? Uh, you can take care of it. I'll transport. Okay. Hey, everything's on camera, what sir. I tell my, what do I tell my lord about this police brutality here in the back seat? You can tell them all you want. Well, wait, wait till we, yeah, wait till we talk, talk to our lawyer about you kicking our cars. Everything has been recorded, sir, even audio. You weren't complaining about anything until you've been sitting in the back of that car for a while. So if you want to go that route... You put me back here and smack my head off the back of the cage. All righty. God damn. <laughs> Just because I kicked your car doesn't mean that you're allowed to beat me. I'll be I didn't touch process. you, sir. All right, Mr. Johnson. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell it to your lawyer. Bullshit my ass. I will, man. I need to take a picture of this gas so I can show it to him. That's not my job. Oh, that's not your job. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You are going to be placed under arrest today for two counts of... It's damage to government property, right? Uh, it's uh, vandalism. Vandalism. What, title what two, title section? section? Fourteen. You're going to get charged with Title 2, Section 14, two counts of vandalism for kicking our vehicles. And uh, you are also getting a citation for vehicle registration for operating that Sanchez on the roadway with no registration, and it has been impounded. It's 180. I'll get that shit back. Don't you worry about that. That's fine. Go ahead and give me your left thumb print right here on this piece of paper, and we'll get you there to process we... and booked. There we go. Got Thank it. you. Rest report's done. Let him say one goodbye one if you want to say goodbye. Bye bye. It was fun. Are you sitting on 11 up there? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Man, look at that outside. That's so outrageous. Sleep oh, it's exploded out there. Jesus. That was fun. Yeah, he knocked my damn hat off. Oh. Pfft.